All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start this video by giving the praises and the glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rachak with Dash, the Monastery of the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, first and foremost, to the 144,000, as well as the uh, the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel. This is a Ratzazah from the Great Millstone, GMS Atlanta Camp. All right, back with another video. All right, and uh, this video is going to be going into when I. Uh, Lord Yahweh Shai returns, <clears throat> all things are going to be set back right. All right, so the title is going to be centered around that. You know, have I, you know, worded or whatever. But uh, but yeah, all right, we understand. Like like the prior video I, uh, uh, that I that I um, that I put up <clears throat> going into how we're at the end of this man's rulership, this man being Esau. All right, we're currently in his kingdom, and it's crumbling. All right, every second, every minute, every day, month year or whatever that go by is one step closer to his man going down all right and at the go down that's when the nation of israel all right starting with the elect they're going to be put in position to rule and then that's when all things are going to be set back right man because the earth is, is is not right right now all right you look around the earth is in disarray all right what's 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 right is wrong what's wrong is right you know, uh, um, righteousness is looked at as, as wickedness. Wickedness is looked at as righteous. You know, the the uh, uh, you know the the, uh, the wicked of the earth prosper. You know, but then if you you know when you do good, you know people. You know, it's it's, it's just it's, it's just you know the, the, yo man, the earth is just bugged out. <laughs> you know, the earth is bugged out, and it needs and it needs a reset, man. It's like you got like I'm doing this video video off my phone, all right. Or you might sometimes I do it off my computer, my laptop, or whatever. But if you have a, a a certain type of device, you know, if you use it a lot and you start changing different settings and changing this and changing that, you notice sometimes it, it won't it won't work properly. And what you gotta restart your uh, device, you know. Again, whether it be your phone, you might you might use a tablet or a computer. You got to you got to reset it every now and then. Well, that's how the earth is, man. This man has been in rulership. All right. I'm talking about Esau, the so-called white man. He's been in rulership. All right. For what? The past, what? Five, what? Five hundred or so years ever since the um, Renaissance period. And the earth has been it's been disarray ever since. Even even going back to the uh, to the Greeks. All right. When you read uh, first Maccabees, I believe the first chapter would speak about the Greeks. How they came into power and, and how the, and the scriptures say that evils <laughs> multiplied in the earth. So anytime this man touches the throne, shit just goes haywire, man. So that's why we need our Lord Yahweh Shah to come, which is going to happen according to prophecy. We need him to return to set things back right. I just got a couple scriptures to go with that uh, topic. All right. The first one I got is Proverbs 29 and 27. <clears throat> and it says an unjust man is an abomination to the just. All right. And rightfully so. Somebody who's unjust, you know, is somebody who doesn't obey or follow the will of Yahweh Shemi Al Shai. Somebody who's, you know, uh, not balanced, not equal. They're not upright. They're not righteous. Essentially a wicked person. It says in, is, it says is an abomination to the just. Right. A just is somebody who upholds righteousness okay and that's how it's supposed to be but 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 then it goes on to say and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked you see that so you so so in this in this world you know here you here you got you got us brothers and and a, and a sister that that believe as well that are trying to live you know as the apostle paul said uh live uh you know peaceful and quiet lives you know serving the lord roughly paraphrasing you know, we don't you know do much. You know, we do our business. We might have certain hobbies that we get into, but we go to work, pay our bills, take care of ourselves. If we got a family, we take care. Of, you know, we do the best we can. You know, we you know, brothers we do our video. We do the work. We try to keep the loss to the best of our ability. You know, and just stay humble. But you have uh, bro, you have us doing that. But then on the other hand, you have a a, a, a damn mo. <laughs> All right, a, 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 a um alphabet gang member. All right, I'll just say it like that. 
this mother effer looking at us like we the ones that got that uh, uh that's uh, uh you know that's being wicked you know or you got or you know you like people in society that's wicked that's evil that don't follow you know uh, uh righteousness they looking at us like we the ones that's wicked man and that's that's <laughs> and that's the, just the way of the world and and, and you mainly got to blame for that the so the so-called white man esau because he's the one in power so he's the one to blame all right and also a precept to that all right we all know this one proverbs i think it's five and twenty um yeah this is proverbs uh excuse me <laughs> isaiah or i'm jumping the gun this is isaiah five and twenty it says woe unto them that call evil good and good evil see that the evil in this world gets praise you know that's get you know that gets uh put on the pedestal you get glory for being wicked and, and evil and, and and stupid <laughs> you know you get millions of dollars you know you, you know you do something stupid you know you do something stupid you go viral and this thing you know you a millionaire overnight you know or you you do some you do even in music right what usually the the uh quote unquote conscious rappers that rap about things that's positive and, and uplifting that don't get the that don't get the attention like the nigga that's rapping about you know killing his own people and selling drugs and you know hoes and all that see but even even coming down to this truth we're we're good we're doing the good in this in this in this so-called world man by trying to serve you how about shimmy out shot and truth and then sincerity by teaching the word you know uh being holy being separate from this from this world but we're called evil you see so it says woe unto them that call evil good and good evil so woe which means death and destruction misery is coming to these people man it says that put it says that put darkness for light in light for darkness again this 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 word this world is is totally backwards man what's light is looked at for darkness and what's darkness is, is looked at as light and it says that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter okay so the heavenly father is going to bring judgment down for everything being backwards anybody who uh has you know joined themselves to that mindset is, is going to get hit with, with with judgments man all right and also what just came to mind this is you know since i said that um as uh, isaiah 13 and 15 right this is um this is isaiah 13 and 15 this is everyone that is found shall be thrust through and this chapter is going into the uh the, the judgment against Babylon. I'm not using the blue letter in this video, but it, um, in the blue letter, you know, they have. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll just show you. When you go to the blue letter, it tells you, uh, gives you like a title of the chapter. I think, it, I think it shows you on the phone. Let me see real quick. If not, we'll just read it regular. All right, all right. So on, on my phone, it don't show you. It shows you on my um, on my computer. But the title of this chapter would say. A prophecy against Babylon all right which we know the modern day Babylon is talking about America but this, this gets to the scripture I had this is uh is Isaiah 13 and 17 and uh no excuse me 15 it says everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword and them is talking about the modern day Babylonians which is the Edomites all right so if you're joined to them in any way, if you're joined to that mindset, because that's that mindset comes from Esau, man. You know, things that's evil is good, and things that's good is evil. That mindset comes from him. So if you're joined to his mindset, you know, as the scripture says, uh, uh, um, envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. I think it's Proverbs the third chapter, if I'm not mistaken. We ain't supposed to choose the way of this man. All right. But what? Because many of our people and people in general have chosen his way or his 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 way of thinking. It says what? 
It says shall fall by the sword, man. See that? <laughs> so so you want to get the same judgment that that um he get. Since you want to think like him and move like him and, and you know, the people that's do, doing that is going to face face the wrath of, of the heavenly Father. But it all goes back to our Lord Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah, all right, the Son of the Most High, is prophesied to return to this earth as an angelic force, pursuant to Isaiah the forty seventh chapter and the third verse, to set things uh, you know, to set things back right, man, because. Again, this earth is in, in dire need of a a, a a reboot, man. You know, again, using the analogy, if you got like a, like a like a laptop or a computer, if it starts going haywire and bugging out, like, damn, I gotta fucking shut my computer down, man. So, it could, you know, that's 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 what that's what the Lord coming to do. It's to it's to it's to um reboot the earth, and um. The, the the uh scripture I had in mind was um actually I was there in the in the, in the, in, the, in the prior video actually um Sirach ten and we actually start at the top this time because the point is in the uh I think the fourth verse I think yeah it says um. Yeah, you will start there. This is Sirach or, or Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. See that? And the so-called white man is, is, is uh, um, well, his, his, his government is well, <laughs> is well ordered in wickedness and evil. All right. When, when, it, when it comes to pushing out evil. When it comes to pushing out darkness Oh yeah Esau's the perfect devil But it's going to come a time Where he's going to be taken out And a, a true wise judge Who's going to enforce righteousness Is going to be established And that's talking about our Lord that, That's talking about our Lord Yahweh Shai As well as the rest of uh, Under him You're going to have the 144,000 Alright And it says um, Verse 2 It says it's, As a judge of the people is excuse me as the judge of the people is himself so are his so are his officers excuse me and what man of of a man the ruler of the city is such are they that dwell therein see that yeah so the white so so-called white man esau all right he's the judge of the people he's the ruler of the city so the people carry his vibration okay they the people dance after the after the tune of the ruler and it says verse three says and it says an unwise king destroyeth his people but through the prudence of them which are in authority the city shall be inhabited and that's what the so-called white man is doing is he's destroying the people man you could you say you could the the, the 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 propaganda he pushes out there and his media He's destroying you via uh, hell the, the freaking uh, the freaking air, the food, the water. The, the people are being destroyed. He's, he's destroying you, and he's not properly, um, you know, uh, you know, he's not leading properly. But it says what? But through the prudence of of them which are in authority, this, this the city shall be inhabited, and the prudent are about to inhabit the city, man. We're about to take over. And rule in righteousness, as the scripture says that in um, Revelations five, that they shall be kings and priests, and they shall rule on the earth. Speaking about the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. Now the point is in verse uh, four here. Uh, it says uh, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. You see that? There's the point. I, I, I end the video on that. The one that's profitable. Is our Lord all right? You got, you got the Lord, and then you got the um, um, his elect that he's going to set up over certain uh, 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 regions to rule, and they'll be profitable. Meaning what? Uh, fit, okay? Because the earth, the earth needs new um, stewards. All right. Look at the word steward. It means house house managers. So the earth needs new management. The earth is being mismanaged. 
under this man Esau, man. Okay? It's, mis it's being mismanaged, uh, uh, you know, greatly. So what? The Lord got to start over. He got to get Esau out of there and set things back right, man. Put things back to how they used to be. As, as Again, the scripture says, um, is that Jeremiah 6 and 16? It's when it says to seek out the old way, the old path, wherein is a good way and walk therein. That path is going to be reestablished, man. But Esau, is he's, he's veered off way off to the left and is, and is walking down the, the path of, uh, of, of Satan because he's the physical manifestation of Satan on the earth, okay? The wicked, man. So yeah, in due time, which is not gonna be long, the Lord's gonna set up one that's profitable to rule the earth, man. And then once again, that's talking about our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right, and that's his true name, by the way, not no goddamn uh, Jesus Christ, man. All right, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is his real, real and true name all right, and that's the name that we that we come in and preach in, man. Which that Lord willing, that probably be my my next video about the importance of teaching in, in the name of the Lord. But but yeah, man, you know that was another thought. I just can't just came to mind how the earth is just the earth is just it's just backwards, man. <laughs> like we we like we're living in uh like a freaking upside down amusement park or something, man. <laughs> you know. It's like wow, it's like it's like, a, like, a, like a goddamn video game or something, man. But yeah, man. Anyway, with that, Lord willing, you was edified. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rachak Wadash, and uh, Lord willing, to the next uh, video, I'm gonna say Shalom.